with art and music, it gives kids something that is um, different from what they're doing all throughout the school day. It kind of gives them a little bit of a respite. So it, when they're in, when you're in math and science and LA and things like that, you do a lot of listening and they have their hands-on parts too, but it's a lot of listening, taking notes, um, being an active listener rather than an active participant in certain areas. And I think that art gives you time to just sort of be, talk to your friends a little bit and be able to create something and um, be actively involved in music. Art. It's not just a drawing you put on a piece of paper or just hang on a wall. Well, it could be, but that's not all of it. Art is when you make something, when you create sound, even if some, or maybe even a little, effort was put into making it, no matter what it is. Visual art is obviously an art. Music is an art. Dance is an art. Acting is an art. There are no limits, no boundaries, and it gives everyone that creative mindset that they need and that they deserve. Here in Turner River Middle School, we have a variety of art, unlike many other schools across America. But even if it is provided to us, the classes still don't get what they deserve. It is estimated that since 2008, more than 80% of schools nationwide experience cuts to their budgets. And due to this, art programs are partially or even completely eliminated from affected school districts. That even affects things in our classes today. Uh, my classroom is small. My classroom is old. I have really poor equipment, like tables. They're 50 years old. They wobble, so I'm constantly fixing them. Yeah, there are issues with the physical plant that really make it difficult, but you have to deal with it nowadays. That's the way things are. This problem includes myself and so many others because the arts that are being cut include chorus, band, orchestra, visual arts, drama, and so much more. I'm Angela. I'm a music student. I'm participating in band and I absolutely love it. It's one of those classes where I can like completely relax while doing something productive and overall it's just completely fun. If that class is taken away from me, I wouldn't know what to do with my academics and with that as a choice, I think we're better off. We took photos of one of our art rooms. The condition is not ideal for our art workspace. Paint is everywhere, the back is a mess, and most of the time there are no supplies available to complete certain tasks being done. This is because arts do not get as much money as other classes to support what they need and what they need to get for our class. And because of this, we wanted to help. We first interviewed five separate art teachers, Mr. Townsend, Mr. Crook, Mrs. Gouda, Mrs. Gagliardi, and Ms. Delson to get a further understanding of what's happening more within our school. It affects everyone. Um, and I think part of the problem is that we think of art and music and dance and theater as an extracurricular activity. Um, and I think people will continue to think that um, for as long as we have it readily available to us. But the truth of the matter is you don't have good dancers or actors or musicians or composers or good artists if people aren't learning the skills of the subject matter. Um, so for now, we take it for granted and think of it as extracurricular, but it's, it's not. <laughs> it actually integrates both sides of the brain because not only are you doing reading of a foreign language like music <laughs> but you're also having to use fine motor and gross motor skills at the same time 
So while you're reading, you're having to move your hand and put your fingers down, and it really gets both sides of your brain going at the same time. And um, there have been studies that have shown that if you play music, it will increase your SAT scores by approximately 30 points. And it increases your focus and your concentration and your ability to work in a team and your ability um, to logically solve problems and to do math and reading and pretty much everything. Our initial plan was to first create bracelets using a rainbow loom. It was very time consuming, but in the end, between both of us, we created around 50 bracelets. This represented artistically creating something to sell. After him, we could not take action in our school. We set our plans to fairway market. We successfully made $140 off bracelets we made and a few cupcakes provided by Tia. We sat at a table for almost three hours and received donations and comments from people throughout the entire time. In the end, we gave all the money to Mr. Townsend, the visual arts teacher who shows kids to have fun while being creative. Um, yeah, anyway, so remember like a month, two months ago, we were, yeah, okay, we actually had a fundraiser sale. I want to give um, it to like you. $140. Oh my god, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm happy now. So, uh, yeah, it's much better. Oh, that's really, you sure? That's just, yeah. really? Yeah. We want you to put on the drawer. All right, it's going on. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Yeah. All right, well, I know what I'm buying with this. Yeah. I need glaze, like, really bad. Yeah. It's for the pot. Yeah. <laughs> so that. Uh, we can do that. Well, guys, this is like unbelievable. Thank you. No wow. Is this your project for the end of the year? Yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> this is like the, one of the only projects. Shh, bye. And uh, that's it. Let's hang that up. We both rate this project four out of five. Although it brought us to do things that we may never do again in our entire lives, we did have our problems here and there. But overall, it was fun and it was great to have a goal to reach. In the end, I'd say we saved the arts. Okay, guys, thank you very much. That was wonderful. Good fundraising. Yeah. I appreciate that. All right, now, is there anything else I'm supposed to do? Uh, like dance no. or anything like that? <laughs> yes, no, dance. That's okay. it? No, you don't want to see an old guy like this dance. Okay. Right? okay. That, that could be catastrophic well, for the internet. You. Okay, thank guys, you. thanks. All right.